Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. And today we are going to take a first look at the new REI Co-op Link seat pack. The pack itself is 11 liter capacity seat pack. It's made out of a ripstop nylon and has some ballistic nylon in the high wear areas on the bag. It's a traditional hook and loop style system that goes through the seat post and then connects under the saddle rails. And we'll take a look at that when we throw it on the bike. But just some, some quick highlights of the bag. First off, the tent pole holder at the bottom really holds these tent stakes and, and poles really nicely. And I think it's pretty ingenious actually to kind of accommodate the tent state there, the tent poles, because um, they are so big and a lot of times they might just not fit in your frame bag. So having a place outside of your frame bag or on your frame uh, is a nice alternative. And then the way you stuff the bag itself, it's pretty neat. It's more of a modular system where you pack two stuff sacks. The stuff sacks are nylon paired with a nylon interior of the bag itself. They glide in and out really easily. Some of the downsides of this bag, one of them being this webbing strap, they cut it a little bit too short in the first place. Uh, so this is the this, this strap that actually goes underneath the saddle rail. And because it is so short, it really is pretty difficult to kind of tug on and, and cinch down the bag. And because of that, the bag just kind of moves around quite a bit. And then paired with this, this plastic stiffener up top, it really just doesn't hug the saddle rails all that well. And I'll get into that in a second. Taking a look at the seat pack on the bike, uh, basically the only real true connection points are the seat post and the saddle rails, pretty similar to a traditional seat pack that you would see out there. Uh, one thing to make note of is the seat, the seat post clearance or the amount of seat posts that you'll need. Um, as you can see, the, the hook and loop system likes to sit a little bit lower on the seat posts. It basically allows the bag to be as stable as possible. And while it still isn't super, super stable, it's more stable down here than installing it a little bit further up. Another thing to make note of is you it's gonna be impossible for you to really get this secure without um, undoing these little webbing holders so taking them outside of the other webbing strap to tighten it down you'll just need to unbuckle these these buckle locks here and really just kind of ream down on them the other thing that i think might be inhibiting the stability of this bag is this plastic stiffener basically runs this through the spine of the bag and when you pack things into a seat bag like this, you want the the contents of the bag to kind of push up against the saddle and the seat and make it more secure. And with this stiffener in here, it really kind of inhibits all those contents to kind of push up against the seat and the seat post to make it a little bit more secure. So that's another reason why I think it's not as secure. So I was noticing some leg rub and I was trying to figure out what was going on. And as you can see here, when the bag is installed as it comes, um, the contents kind of push over to the left, or at least when you really hammer down on this Velcro strap to the right, it really pushes over to the left. So I noticed there's a piece of Velcro underneath this webbing strap here. And if you loosen it up by kind of sticking your finger in there, you can kind of tug and kind of shape where essentially this piece mounts on the seat post. So you'll have to play with it a little bit, but I found that once you find the right spot, so now it's centered, which is really awesome. All right, and then the last thing I noticed while kind of riding around was they have this little loop here to install a safety light. But if you have standard length poles in the pole pouch, this safety light really won't fit. So after testing the Co-op Link seat pack for a number of days, I've come to the conclusion that this bag has some awesome features. 
it also has some design flaws. Each one of the REI bags does come with a instruction pamphlet, but after looking through this pamphlet on the seat pack, I didn't see anything that mentioned the hook and loop adjustment point. So I'm glad I found that. But overall, the bag does come in at $79.95, and I do think for a beginner or somebody just getting into bike packing, that price point is definitely attractive. So if you're interested in purchasing this bag today, hit the link below. And if you have any comments or questions regarding this bag, I definitely will help answer those for you. And as always, thanks for watching and pedal further.